Well, some of you might have seen this guy. It's a pink octopus driving down Highway 17, or someone was doing the driving for him. Adventure Falls Golf was home to this staple in Surfside Beach, but now has a new home in Loris. And News 13's Jackie Labrizzi was there this afternoon as the moving process began, and she spoke with the owner of the mini golf course, who shares what the relocation means to him. You could say this guy is well armed. Laying behind me is an 18 foot fiberglass octopus that has been here in Surfside Beach for over 30 years. My first thought when I heard this place was closing was what about the octopus? What about her? What's going to happen to her? The company ASL Signs brought their cranes and bucket trucks to Adventure Falls Golf Wednesday morning. And in order to fit the octopus on their trailer, ASL Signs had to cut off the back two legs and lay it flat. The movement of Hashtag save the octopus came to life <laughs> and here we are trying to move this crazy thing. This relocation project came after Adventure Falls Golf closed down last weekend. It kind of hits you in the heart when you hear that and you've grown up on the south end. And the octopus was built in 1989 with intentions to be used as a decoration for Adventure Falls mini golf along with dinosaurs. It was propped up on the course in a pond of water with its legs facing different directions, similar to how it'll be in its new home. On that property, there is about a two acre lake uh, pond on there, and we're gonna give her her retirement home there. So people will be able to come by and see her, visit her from the road, and her legacy will go on. Jones told me the mini golf course's owner, Chris Bethay, didn't charge them anything for the octopus. She says her and her husband only have to pay for its transport and a fiberglass expert who will be piecing the octopus back together since it's unable to move in one piece. But they told me it was actually one of his partners of the last 30 years that built the octopus himself. He says, sadly, Big Jim said, well, died 10 years after the course opened, but would be laughing if he found out his octopus is being restored. Jackie, and I'm telling you, the folks on that list were, it was, the list was as long as my arm. The people that are excited about this octopus being saved. So, again, for them to be as passionate as they were, it just makes me know that we've, we've all done the right thing. Jones told me she wants the community's help in naming this octopus, but says so far Pippi Long Tentacles is her favorite. Too bad this isn't happening in October. Reporting in Surfside Beach, Jackie Labrizzi, News 13. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chris Bethay says that he and his partner are moving on to a new chapter and starting construction on a new project coming to that same site. Thankfully, there are no tentacle problems. There you go. <laughs>